G'day there and welcome back to Dog Shadow Gaming, the channel where we live to game and game to live. As always, I'm Belth and today we're looking at episode 7 in our Gashnag, the Black Border Prince. Um, Steel Faith Overhaul, Cyrano's Faction Unlocker, with the Dogs of War Southern Realms mod for um, Grimhammer 2 or SFO, Steel Faith Overhaul. Former SFO, now Grimhammer. Um, yeah, so this is episode 7 and we'll be right back after this. <laughs> Welcome back guys, and here we are, uh, where we left off last time, we had just beaten these guys twice. How many times you need to get beaten, buddy? Like, how many times? I think... What has he got left? My god. Ugh, do we want to risk it? I just don't want to lose my tears. Is it like... We probably lose, uh, bugger it. No, we didn't lose any. Okay, good. Um, we'll take the leadership. The money's not really worth it this time. Alright, we got a uh, Regiment of Renown Unlock, Leopard Company, the Leopard Company, Exile Guardians of the Sacred Shrine. The Leopards always sent back, send back everything they earn, taking out necessary expenses such as fine wine, silk shirts, and pasta sauce. <laughs> Uh, Regiment Renown Unlocked, Marksman of Miragliano, okay, each trooper in Maximilian's Dan Danmark's company must get a bullseye on a coin at 300 paces to demonstrate their skill. If it doesn't take a genius to guess that what you can do in battle, okay, doesn't, yeah, beautiful. Alright, so we got a couple of, a couple more, um, ability tricks to shard, nice, nice, miscast chance, yep. Um, leadership when attacking, okay, leadership or size, yeah, excellent. Fantastic. All right, so that was really, really good. Um, now, this is actually you got walls and everything, so it's pretty full on. And he has another yeah, army here with, whoa, a lot of knights in it. So we really don't want to get anywhere near that. So what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to come back over here. Um, we're, we're now getting this. So we should be far enough away not to get hit, hopefully. Um, we got a couple of points here. Uh, that's only when fighting vampires. Versus raiding armies and armies, uh, green skins, chaos, blah, blah, blah. Not just yet. Uh, what do we got down here? Minus 50% casualties sustained from untainted territory. Attrition. Okay, yeah. Don't need that right now. Growth diplomatic relations with empire. That one's probably pretty... Pretty worth it at some stage. Uh yeah, we had pretty much smoked out his, his mid tier there, hadn't we? Uh, lightning strike wouldn't be too bad as well. Okay, right, yep. Yeah. Malakos, mystifying miasma, because uh, yeah, yeah. Phenomenon's pendulum, we had put quite a few uh, smoke and mirrors. Feebling foe is a good one. Yeah, we needed to get over to here, didn't we? Pit of Shades would be really nice, wouldn't it? Oakham's Mind Razor also would be very, very good. So... I think that's where we'll put our points into. Augment, constant around self, extra, casting wide, smoke and mirrors for speed. Every time you cast something, we have speed. Okay. Um, it will do in feebling foe. Do slippery. Uh, Uh, Vortex Spell uh, causes uh, moderate magical damage, huge stationary area of effect, can disrupt your units, good against armor, strong versus multiple units, Vortex, okay. Um, so let's go for the Vortex because it's nice and we'll get the, that one there, we'll get the uh, magical reserves just to add some more since we're very much the casting lord. Um, now, how's our dude here doing? He's doing pretty well, he's doing pretty well, so full plate. Was the other one? Oh, hang on. Mortality, we need to get to 20s at 11, so we're okay. Okay, excellent. 
otherwise we're doing pretty well. Uh, oh. Ah, oh, yeah, here we go. I can get the Lord High Eagle Meridian. Choir's Temple Meridian. Da, 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 da. Leadership. A Master Strategist Provincial Commander from the Order of the Eagle. Available in the Lord Pool once every 100 turns. So... Right, he's in the... Nice. Lord High Eagle of Mamidia. So let's do that. Character recruited. Okay. Does that... Have I got... Okay, no. Uh, yeah, that's probably worth it, but we kind of want to spend a bit more money up here. We don't need to at the moment, but we will shortly. So we need to be cognizant of that. Mm, we're slowly rebuilding here. Now, hang on. Let's, before we go doing anything else. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Let's go back to here real quick. Uh, okay. So we got a couple. We can get a couple. The Prince's Own unlocks the Prince's Own recruitment. Um, great sword infantry. Armored, armor piercing. Nice. Who else have we got? Uh, Usingen's challenges. Unlock Usingen's challenge recruitment via running down panel. Nice. Okay. Armored, armor piercing. No forest penalty. Oh, wow. Okay. Some heavy cav, it looks like. Armored armor piercing, yeah, heavy cav, nice, nice. What else have we got? Um, all right, so we can get two. I, I, I want to get the cav. Okay, nice. And this also costs five hundred, so it unlocks the prince's own recruitment. Let's get those as well. Okay, cool. We have spent a bit of money, but we're unlocking these uh, regiments of renown, which is cool. Now we'll get this once we get the vampires going, All right? Um, cool. So, I'm in my own territory. Let's have a quick look. What do we got here? Ah, oh, look at all these fun dogs of war toys we've got to play with. What do we need is the question, isn't it? Uh, we're not making huge money here, so we've got to be a little bit careful of what we spend on here. Um, okay, so Leader of Renown, which means he gives a bonus to other leadership. Armoured, anti-large, charge defence against all. Okay, so that's more anti-large, which is cool, but we don't, we kind of got him. We've got, we've got Piazza's Legion, we've still got our, our shield bearers here. Um, and we've still got our two halberders, which are a lot, lot, lot cheaper than these guys. So we don't need that just yet. Now, what we are sort of missing is some um, anti-large. That would be really nice if we did that. Um, armor piercing. They will chew through more infantry. Armored armor piercing. No forest panel, which is nice. So this might be able to take up... How much are we paying for these guys? 300. They got wrecked by those Empire Knights. So they're not for that. They're really for like just minting um, archers and shit like that. So we can get rid of these guys, I think. Okay. Which will offset a little bit of that expense. Um, if we recruit... Oh, there's not much we can recruit from this end of the table, is there? Uh, yeah, I kind of... Vesperado's uh, Cloak and Dagger, Anti-Infantry, Charge Defense Against All. How? Charge Defense Against All. Nice. I'm oh, Pissing Missiles, Good Range. Now that could be good for taking out Knights. Uh, Blades of the Ancients, yeah. So these guys are sort of early tier. Some armor, some, some armor pierce would be nice because these guys, they're okay, but they're not armor piercing. So they were... They're okay, but they weren't taking out those knights very quickly. Um, I feel like the Hellbiters did a lot of that work. They have armor piercing, these guys. Yeah, we're going to do it. Okay, so now we got we got a little bit more cavalry options. We've got a heavy cav and we've got a light cav, but a pretty good light cav, to be fair. Um, so that gives us a little bit more skirting the edge. We've got a fairly solid front line still, and we've got some good archer fire. 
Um, and we've got good magic and we've got some good uh, just Lord Bully potential, I suppose. Um, I'm happy with our anti-large at the moment, but we will need to work on that as we go through. So that's pretty cool, guys. Pretty cool. Got another Dogs of War. Um, Usigin... Usigin's... Usigin's challenges. Hard to pronounce. Um, okay, cool. Rightio, let's... Uh, then turn there. Now I'll skip it as always, guys, and I'll see you back in a second. Okay, guys, welcome back, and where are we? Let's have a look. Um, all right, so they're sending some, they're obviously sending some units off to uh, run me off a little bit here, but we need to go back here and just sort of kick back a little bit and relax. Um, yeah, so being back in the base obviously helps a fair bit for cash. Um, let's see where we're at for the dwarves. Last one, because before he confederates everyone and we start losing all of our... Uh, yes! Alright, so he doesn't like that we're at war with Avaland. That He doesn't like that, he's not a big fan of it, but that's too bad. Um, it's being offset at the moment, so we don't have to stress too much with that. Now, um, Grand Stolt is Avaland here, and I need, I kind of need that because i got to go through it, to be honest with you. Um, it's like the vampires and, sort of, yeah, kind of both. That's right. It is what it is. Uh, okay, so we got a we're replanning slowly, but um, replanning nonetheless. We will, we're getting some casualty uh, replenishment rates. Camry's coming up and squished. Look at this, like the orcs are getting squished. Camry's coming up from the south. And the dwarfs are heading down from the north. Jeez, you got to feel sorry for Grimgore, don't you? <laughs> Poor bugger. All right, so we're going to have to kick back a little bit here and um, do a little bit of recruiting. We've got one, two, three, four. We've got the five for the front line plus the four. So plenty of... that's There's plenty of that there. Um... The range is doing its job. Can't wait to see what these guys are like in battle, eh? Um, they apparently they've got no no forest panel, which is really cool. Means they can charge into forest, no no worries whatsoever. Uh, I wonder what the lore is behind them. That'd be interesting. Uh, that's kind of it for now. I mean, it, we're as about as high tier as we can get right now. So we just gotta we gotta kick back, guys. Sorry, and we're gonna sort of um, replan a little bit. Okay, and we're back after the turn timer. What's happened in the world? Population surplus in the Border Princes. Grimgore has been destroyed. Wow, okay, there you go. Um, war declared on Clan Scryer and Estalia. Now, we are their allies, so we've gone to war with Clan Scryer as well. It's not a big deal as long as he doesn't come after me, which I think he has more than enough shit to deal with, so we don't need to worry about that. Um, yeah, yeah. Karak Hearn has confederated with... No? Oh, is he at war with them? No, neither. Interesting. Karak Hearn, the, the little guys who sit in here and do nothing, has really, uh, they've really gone off this game. Um, you guys are still happy with me? We're, we're all pretty good. We're good chums. Uh, money slowly heading up. We're, we're, we're heading back up. I need, to, what else do I need here? Um... I'm feeling like, what do we need? More archers, potentially? Um, so the question is, do we get another rank? 
Getting 1400. How much if I'm outside of my base? 11. Okay, well, I can't afford something to mulch through because we, yeah, I mean, armored anti large, charge defense against all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anti large. So much anti large. Cloak and dagger, anti infantry. Mm, I mean, that's that would be nice too. Having some gunners to take out high armoured targets would be nice, but then something to peel through. Because uh, we did, we have, we, well, we've lost, we lost these guys, right? So we could replace, wow, they're expensive. Look at that. Compared to the other guys, it's really expensive. The prince's own. Um, I'm kind of down with it, though. What do you reckon? 500 though. Oof. Would severely deplete. Uh, or do we just. I mean, we could get both of these units for the same. Pretty much the same price, yeah. About this. A little bit less. We can get the missile. Uh, Maragliano's uh, armor piece of missiles, which have good range. And we can get these. Which are going to have more effect, I suppose, is the case. These guys, uh, what are we got? Uh, melee defense, 57. Uh, melee attack, 52 and 53. They're not armor piercing, though. Uh, they're seven turns away. It's still better than those. Oh, hello. Armored, armor piercing, but doesn't show up on their stats. It's interesting. Armor piece of missiles go It's not showing up on anyone's. Anti infantry charge defense against all. Charge defense against all. Which is interesting. Hmm. Cloak and data sword infantry. Something that, that's a bit bigger and could mulch through infantry would be nice. But having both of these two good units versus one. Yeah, I mean, I can put him in there. And I can... Do that. And now I can... I can get him for the same price, probably less. So yeah, okay. We're starting to really collect our dogs of war now. We've got a fairly solid front line here. We've got plenty of anti large. We've now got a fairly solid front line. I don't know if these guys are really front line material, but regardless, uh, we've now got pretty excellent firepower. We've now got some armor pierce, which is important. Um, they're missile infantry, so they're not guns, which is interesting, but they do have armor piercing missiles, so that's good. Um, We've got a very solid missile back line. We are now... Our dogs need a little bit of health and so do our halberds, but otherwise they're doing okay. Um, I'm feeling like we head down into the gap here and see what we come. Uh, okay. Oh man, look, what's happened? Uh, was that Clan Shredder here? Like, taking it out? This is definitely Clan Shredder here. Alright, we do have... Look at all those knights, man. Okay, um... Actually... Let's see if we can catch him. Maybe he'll come through the gap. I doubt it. Still... Welcome to my court. All right, welcome back, guys. Here we are. 
Uh, we're slowly starting to get somewhere here. Um, income generated. Growth, casualty yeah, for cavalry units. Yeah, that would be, that's actually pretty damn good. But uh, we do have a bit of corruption going on here. 28%. It is coming down, like, slowly, but um, it's taking a little bit of time. We do have some knights here, so it's not imperative that we have. This is... I mean, we're talking... That has to come out, doesn't it? And... Yeah. Some state... Whoa! I will not blight my soul. We're in the... Flying hell buckets did you come from, my friend? Luckily, I caught that. Uh, who do we have that we can call on here? Armored in fit. What vile fit? Okay, man. No worries. Um, to war. How are we going here? Greetings, honorable ally. Uh, is it getting better or worse? Getting better. Okay, going back up again. Great power. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Who else are you at war with? Red Fangs, Undiscovered, Clan Krizor. Clan Krizor, okay, yeah. Vampire Counts, Undiscovered Faction. Right, so. Karakadron, who we are also allied with. Okay. Okay. Alright, yeah. Slowly, we're getting rid of those. All right. Um, improving. War with Sterling is a little bit. Great power is pretty much the only thing that's really annoying him. So that's all right. That's cool. Um, Billiga. To war, one rug. Okay, so none of our allies, uh, unfortunately, what? at war with them. So, sneaky little bastards. What defenses have we got here? Not a lot. This is going to hurt too. Um, what has he got? I am a lord of Britonia. Knights of the realm, knights of the realm... Pegasus Knights. Oof. Okay. Yeah, I could recruit a general here. What has he got? Knights, Militia, we got some guns, one halberd unit. Oof, that is not an easy battle. You dishonor me. In fact, it's pretty much a death battle. What I can do... Uh, what is he going to cost? 280. Uh, when normally killed in battle, this lord will be wounded instead. Casual replenishment rate plus 10. Upkeep is 288. Lord recruit will increase your total army upkeep by 6%. Your total army. 6 Ah, oh, wow. Okay. That's fine, right? High Eagle Lord. Right, so this was the High Eagle Lord, dude. Battle prayers, armored, anti-large. Right. Armored shielded, yeah, so he's still better. Um, that's our High Eagle Lord, so we will get him at some stage, but... Right now, I think we might just have to let it go. It's going to hurt, but there's not a lot else we can do, I'm afraid. Growth, growth, casual replenishment rate would be nice if we're going to be fighting here. Um... 
This could also be very useful. I'd rather put it down here. Let's hold on to our cash for one more turn and see how things go. He's gonna hit it. That's pretty much no doubt of that. Okay, and here we go. Uh, oof. Two Pegasus Knights. Armored, shielded, anti-infantry, very fast. Um, two Knights of the Realm. Two Light Horse. Front line's chaff, doesn't really matter. I'm piecing it large, blah, blah, blah. What have we got? Armored, shielded. And we got no Lord. Uh, we're going to fight alert loss here, but I want to do as much damage as I can to them. Um, but we'll fight it. It's it's probably going to be a loss, let's be honest. Uh, Would have been a good fight if I'd known he was coming. It's uh, In Legendary, they like to hit you with that shit. Like, some, like this is the Bretonian guys from the other side of the goddamn continent. Um, snuck his way right through the gap and isn't actually uh, uh, fighting any of my allies. So there you have it. My ally net of dwarves failed me. You failed me, dwarves, for the last time. Okay. <laughs> All right, so... These are our militia knights. Not too bad, not too bad. Um, so these guys, uh, what are we going to send them? We need to really send them against the men at arms because they'll, they'll mince them, but the Knights of the Realm, uh, I think they'll get handed it to them. So what do we need here? We need to be able to minimize the damage that their cavalry can do. Hmm, how do we, we're, look, we're probably going to lose this one either way, but how do we maximize our damage potential? I think what we need to do Certainly, and we're fighting downhill, which sucks balls. Like this map. Doesn't matter what you do, you're gonna fight down here. It's, it's really annoying. Um Okay. Here. Okay, we're gonna do that. Um I'm going to pull into the trees where their knights will get hampered a little bit by the woods. It's not going to give us huge benefit, but it'll give us something at least. want to be on the edge I don't really want to be in it I'm sort of what well, I, I mean my, the plan here the and was to sort of pull back into the woods you're gonna fight one way or the other I I mean I'm massively outnumbered one advantage I do have is I have I have archers he has nothing to wear in the way of archers but he does have lots of air force um, I don't really want to if I'm in there Either way, I'm fighting uphill. There's just no way around it, is there? It's a bit sucky. Oh well. Cannot be helped. Our steeds are restless. It's a settlement battle, so I can't even I can't pull back. There's nothing. 
Ugh, just doesn't like you're going to be fighting uphill one way or the other. There's nothing you can do about it. Um, if I fight in the trees, I negate some of his ability to move around and charge me with his knights. However, um, I'm then losing a lot of my arrow fire, which gives you know, which is my one of my major um, benefits here. You can surround me easily. There's very little I can do about that. Standing by, by Ulrich's wrath, spearmen, swordsmen. Okay. For war. Our weapons are yours. Hand gunners. Send us out. Okay, trying to sneak around and get some hammer and anvil if we can. charge through those front lines. Look, either way, we're going to lose this. We're just about trying to do as much damage as we can. Right, so, yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. Okay. That's it. It's the best I can do, unfortunately. Gonna be over fairly quickly. We just want to try and maximize the damage we can. That's all we that's all I can really ask to do. Um getting my archers on these Pegasus Knights, they're expensive, and if I can kill them off, that will even if I can just get rid of one would be lovely. Respite. Understood. Take aim! Formation! War. Quick march at speed. Take the ground. Yes, sir. Take aim. Hand gunners. Okay. Ugh, doing minimal damage, if any. Yeah, I was always going to head this way, though, guys. Fighting an uphill battle with uh, that kind of heavy cav coming at us. Minimal defenses. Quickly! Prepare for combat! 
All right. That was a rather quick death. We actually broke well before we lost a lot of it. We, we managed to kill absolutely sweet FA of those Pegasus. <laughs> ah, I forgot to take all my guys off um, skirmish mode, which was a little bit shit. That's all right. It wasn't going to be a. It wasn't going to be. It was always going to be a route. I was just hoping we'd do a little bit more damage than what we did. We really didn't do very much at all. What do we get? Twenty, twenty-six. You didn't even kill one single Pegasus knight with all that gunfire. How useless are you? Uh, one, one. Okay, like zero. We did very. We did zero damage. <laughs> oh yes, the the sign. Don't worry. I actually mean zero, as in the zero. Uh. Why are you raiding me, dude? For the wisdom of I'm not at war with you. In fact, you're a military ally, I'm pretty sure. You come from Sacking Selman. Infantry, yeah, that's, we definitely want that one. Okay, so we're going to keep going down this line. Um, Welcome to my court. Why are you doing that? Anyway, um, okay. I think we're gonna go for the other one for the growth. Yeah, I think we are. I think we're gonna do this for the growth, just to get us up there. And the casual replenishment rate, which is nice too. So we're going to smash this guy in the next turn. No one else is really on our bum at this stage, so we're pretty good. Just need to take care of him, get that back, and then we'll head back up and continue our jolly way up here. What's going on over here? Oh, we also have you coming down. That's interesting. The other guy's heading up in here. Hurricane's still not doing a hell of a lot. I don't know why you've got all these bad guys around you sitting here raiding me. Sometimes the NPC does some weird stuff, I tell ya. And with that epic loss, guys, uh, we're going to call it for this episode. Now, stay tuned for the next episode. Uh, what are we? Five, six, seven. Yeah, episode eight. Episode eight, yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right guys thank you very much for watching as always if you've really enjoyed it then hit the thumbs up uh, do share it out it's um, a little guy and it helps really a lot if you want it, if you've liked it to share it out um stay tuned for the next one that's coming out very shortly and uh if you've really liked it then consider helping me out by hitting up my patreon with the links are in the description for everything or catch me out on twitch as well all right guys thank you very much as always for your time and i will catch you on the next episode of uh, gashnag the border prince see you guys